Now I'm going to make a water capacitor. I have here the parts needed for a water capacitor are some nylon screws, nuts, and one millimeter thick washers. You need some metal plates, preferably stainless steel, but in a pinch. It doesn't matter. If you use caustic soda solution, somehow the metal does not corrode as it does with plain water. You're also going to need some ring terminals, crimp on connectors, and some wire of some sort. Now take your two metal plates. These have a little lump in the metal, so I'll put that to the outside. Now this is normally you would sand this and cross hatch it. Take off the stickers. Now I've also gathered some rubber washers. The only purpose of the rubber washers is to help hold the screws in place better. So first cut yourself a length of wire long enough to stick out of your water container that you will use. Any water container will do. I use Tupperware. Crimp on your ends. My trusty Leatherman. So you're going to have a plus and a minus wire. Alright, start by placing your screws on opposite corners of your plate, like so. Now you want to put your washers in as well. You want to have a washer at each corner. Alright, and then simply take your other plate and put it down over the top of the first. I like to alternate the screw holes to reduce twisting and movement later on. Almost forgot, on one end you need to put your wires. Feed that through. Put another wire and a rubber washer and put the nut on to hold it together. And tighten them all down. Now there's the inside workings of your water capacitor. There should be about a millimeter air gap all the way around. Now the next step, we fill a container with water. We'll be right back. Okay, I've submerged the water capacitor into the water, and now it's ready to be tested. And that's how simple it is to make a water capacitor. Now I've hooked this up to my little Bedini motor, and you can see the neon light is not lit. That's the warning when uh, your battery is not connected this neon light will be lit up and it is not so obviously the Bedini motor sees this as a capacitor now it usually takes a couple minutes for the bubbles to start to form when you start with a new water capacitor and also as with the battery it takes time to condition these things now here's an interesting update this is heavy duty drain opener from Home Depot contains potassium hydroxide this changes the conductivity of the water now you can see little bubbles coming up now I'm gonna let this run a minute and see what happens